Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X Red vs. Blue. Happy and sad to bring you the last season. Uh, that's 18, well, the current last season. That's 18, that's Red vs. Blue Zero, which only has eight episodes. And it's going to be a little shorter. We are also switching to two episode pieces because, you know, we want to make this last a little longer. Maybe a whole month. Maybe there'll be new episodes out. I doubt it. I don't think the next new episodes come out till 2022, maybe, or the later this year. Either way, it's been a fantastic ride, and I've been, enjoyed it with you guys so much. Uh, we've tried to keep all of our episodes up on YouTube. Obviously, we've had issues with certain episodes and volume and other things, but... Uh, uh, you know, we've really enjoyed this journey with you guys and, you know, we can't say it enough. I can't say it enough that you should support Rooster Teeth, right? Like they've given us more than we deserved of free seasons, basically of Red versus Blue. Granted, they have it on Rooster Teeth, blah, 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 getting paid now. But at the end of the day, a lot of this stuff is free for us and we have to thank them for it somehow. So, you know, try to, you know, grab some socks, grab a shirt, grab some products, buy a subscription, whatever you can to help them out, guys. Really, it means a lot. And I say that without having done it myself, but we can only have so many. And unfortunately, with Ruby done and Red vs. Blue caught up, well, both caught up, not done, we really have nothing else we're watching on Rooster Teeth, and so we're, we're not grabbing it currently. But we, we do appreciate them, and we try to like support whenever possible. We do donate when we can on like their drives and their funds and everything, so... You know, do your best if you can and are in a better situation than us to support them. And yeah, if you enjoy watching with us, as always, come and talk to us about it in the comments. You can chat with us in our Discord. Uh, for our patrons, we have special talk sections on Patreon. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get into it. Uh, I'm excited. I have no idea what this is going to be about because I skipped the trailer. I, I like to come in fresh without preconceptions or anything so that I can enjoy it for what it is and not for what I expect it to be. So let's go ahead and start it off. Episode 1, Red vs. Blue 0, Season 18. Oh, cool. Interesting. Definitely better graphics, and they've got some custom areas. I'm guessing they finally got all the uh, models from them so they could make their own. There was a lot of people there in the inter I like that they put the credit stuff at the beginning, though, because it makes you look at it more. Matt Hullum, Jeff Ramsey, Luis Medina. So, once again, we have no clue what's going on here. Um, but it does look really good. Whoa, that was an interesting... Very nice. This is pretty high quality, man. Okay. Camera's interesting. The camera's hooked to a... that At that point, it was hooked to a person. You could see the way it moved. Viper. Interesting angles. Once again, a lot of these are more available... They're definitely not, I don't think, using the Halo engine at all anymore. They're just using some of the models imported into whatever engine they're using. It looks great. It looks really good, honestly. Although there are some, there are some mismatch. Oh, hello, Viper. I was going to say there's some mismatch, but now it's already passed. It's not worth it to stop and pause it. Hello. Interesting double effects. This guy just takes all the bullets. So there's not a lot of reason to dodge anything if it doesn't hurt you. Is there more? Nope. It's probably all credits. Oof. Alright, well that was 
pretty decent. Let's try episode two and see how it goes. And hopefully we enjoy it. Uh, oh my god, this one has two commercials. Are you fucking kidding? Ha, ha, ha. Skipping the intro. We don't do fucking intros, so they just lost a minute there. Because they almost never do intros for Red vs. Blue, so that's new. Her arm is damaged. Except for all the freelancer tech that half of it did the exact same shit or better. See, this is pretty good. This, it still lacks some of the smoothness, but it's actually more natural in a lot of the ways. That was good. weird time delay there the the bullet takes a second to hit the thing and switch scenes instead of doing a smooth damage transition action transition it's a big lady motorcycle Millennium Falcon Wow Jane Augustine I have to keep watching because there's a character with my name Lawnmower Wow a true dad. What was the stance there? First two. She's, I think she's doing that purposefully to, like, antagonize her so that she'll mess up during this. She's going to go too hard and get caught out. No idea what's going to happen with East.
Okay. Here, apparently, with the enemy. And their fancy suits. So consistency is key. The problem is their suits, not compared to the other mains, but compared to people on the side, are so much nicer. Okay, so these are locks for the, or keys for the lock. And they have guards. Okay. Okay. What is with the weird movement? Oh, that would that would explain it. I'm in. I'm in. God. Not a bad idea. This is looking good, though. I know that sounds and seems very clever, but when you hit it on the nose like that, it's not as good. <laughs> the action's looking real good, though. See, but he can just teleport, teleport. I'm not gonna lie, unless he has multiple abilities, that's a little lazy.
<laughs> She's like, come on. All right, not bad ending. Um, it's so weird too, because I started off this episode complimenting the the more action we got in this, but seeing as how we have eight episodes in such a limited run, the action might be taking up way too much space. I mean, it looks great. It, it honestly, the 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 hulky movement of the first guy has not been shown in the rest. Everything else is looking good and smooth. It's different. Th than Monty style, but I like it. It's it's a little more nuanced in some ways and less flowy, but maybe a little more natural in the kind of breathe and flow of an action. Having said that, I'm enjoying it. I mean, uh, I do think some part some parts are a little excessive or overdone, and then some parts aren't being hit, which is partially their typical comedy. Which they've had some comedy in here, but it's definitely not ringing true to either their typical style or their typical level. I can't really say which yet, but considering we're already one fourth of the way through the first season of this, whatever trilogy is going to end up being, hopefully, because God, if they wrap it in eight episodes of a season for a story, that's probably not going to be that great. But we're just going to have to see. Uh, I'm excited still to see how this season goes, and obviously to see the production level so high is amazing. Uh, it looks great. It looks beautiful. Obviously, I. I'm almost certain they're not running in the Halo engine anymore at all. Even if they were before, I mean, I'm not that knowledgeable about how they did their machinima, but I thought that they did most of it for most of the past seasons in the Halo engine and then layered on with machinima in certain spots. But I, I once again, I'm not super knowledgeable about the process. Maybe you guys could tell me in the comments. Let me know what you think of the episode of this new season, this new style. As always, support the original content creators. Check out Rooster Teeth on RoosterTeeth.com. Red vs. Blue, Ruby, all the other great stuff they have there is available. And all you got to do is watch um, an ad every five minutes or so. Uh, so it's not too, too bad. And they're only about a minute and a half. So honestly, compared to like regular TV commercials and everything else, they are so much better. So if giving back to... A company you love means watching a little bit of ads, and that is what it is. Or, obviously, you know, if you're better off than me and can afford to pay for the the, the subscription, then I absolutely do that as well. Remember to support them. If you enjoyed, you know, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications if you want to hear more stuff. And if you want to see this, uh, you know, no covers, no audio cuts, etc., and full screen, you can check out a... Oh, there goes the camera. You can check us out on Patreon.com where uh you know you can get all that because we unfortunately cannot put that on youtube it keeps getting pulled down in copyright strikes so thanks again for watching i'm axel grave and this has been reactions with the next red versus blue we'll see you guys next week for the second part of season 18.